Hello, comrades, and welcome to uh, a very, very special episode of Crisis of the Kremlin. Special because I'm panicking. In the last episode, we tried to support Michael Dukakis with every measure. That took two earned profits down, and it failed. Stalin is still on the majority. We've done all the military aid we can, so we have a hundred and twenty that we need to get rid of from something. I say 120 instead of 150 because we still have some money in the reserve. I think the easiest way to do it out uh, there. Really, technology is really harmful, but that took away the most of it. Now, I think the main thing that we take away from is that we right now. We brought down the Megan Floor. The is very powerful, it can probably take the pit. The contention is extremely low, though. So we probably need to increase the amount of time that we have. I'm actually going to take everything down to 90, which I really do not like. And that would explain why the folks are kind of fancy, and I think that's because of the ones of events that we had before. Oh, yes, with the intellectuals. So now we have a letter in which a lot of things thrive, moving dogs and scientists are expecting their having sort of Once again, so you know what? We'll transfer my to the The most resources were transferred to four countries for the speed. The public events have been prepared, the libraries, the clubs, and singers are being open. <sighs> that is very good to hear, because hopefully... The contentment is higher, but so is corruption. I think that's because we put a bit too much money into cultural alignment. So we're going to take away from that. Are Stalinists the high? No. No, they're still not the majority. Well, all we can do is keep farming these third world countries for their resources. I say countries, I mean just Algeria. It's the easiest to click from here. Olivia is still staying with us, even though the disapproval level is high. Now, Togo. Gonna give civil aid and get them to 100. We have a lot of a way to go. We really, really do. But I believe in us. So we're going to improve technology to at least be a hundred and everything. And now we have the members, memoirs of great Kenyans. Kenyaz, Alexander Romanov's Ren 1930s, and Tobias' life during the revolution. So, war and after. He analyzes the situation with Macri, periodically stating that Len Bolchek saved Russia from the division and returning it to Russia. All saying that Russia couldn't survive without Bolsheviks. The memoirs are sympathizing Bolsheviks at the end. It's weird that they weren't public. You know what? In a positive book, we're going to include it in his school books. The new book quickly spread on the curious Soviet reader and became a bomb among students and oppositioners. Which improved the reputation of God. However, for a change of people's opinions depend only on your actions. With any luck. Nope. No more Stalinism from that. Oh well. Oh no. I might have less than 400 reserves. Gold of Cybernex flourished in the 50s when young mind scientists were dreaming of automate, automizing, auto, automatized robotics 
and cybernetic features, which would be able to create true communism. However, movement began to collapse after attacks on Professor Kitov from Khrushchev and the party. Of course, attacks stopped when Brezhnev came to power, but others' ideas bothered people and government wasn't encouraged to restore the moment. Only at the end of 70s, some steps towards armization began, but during Andropov's rule, the party was more concerned with Chinese economical experiments instead. However, Andropov passed away in cold to space, Che, che Guevara, or Che Guevara in here, and bam, don't concern mass anymore, or you are attracted by automization. So many time to rebuild, forgotten but still modern cult of Cyrenex. I actually forget how this is pronounced, but... <sighs> I, I wish I did, but they don't actually say his name that much. So I only really read about him. Uh, you can build it, ignore it, or you can say there's there's no point in fighting against it, so we can't take care of these options. Now they are right here. From the Marxist perspective, uh, there are several stages in terms of transition towards true communism. The big transition is from capitalism to socialism, and then socialism to communism. And it would be a very long video to just go over it, but let's just focus on true communism. Essentially, Marx thought that at some point technology would improve to such a point that most jobs would be able to uh, just be completely automatized. No human would actually need to be able to do them. And so, at the very least, that would mean that there's very low work time for most people. And because of that, after a while, you would have uh, a, a situation where People don't need to work, and so the only time that they do work would really be because they want to. They want to provide for society, because for most people, their work does give them a purpose. And most people are proud of their work. If you're not proud of your work, then I don't see why you should be forced to work. In capitalism, obviously, you need to work, and if you don't work, you don't get paid. If you're not paid, then you you just die if you don't have any savings. And to me at least, that is, that is awful and that's why I agree that it is wage slavery. I don't see that there's much of a difference between literally pointing a gun to someone's head and telling them they have to work and having a situation where we have a significant unemployed population and say to a worker, hey, you can, you don't ha it's your choice to work, but if you don't work, you're in poverty. Ah. But yes, that's what Marx meant by from each according to their ability to each according to their need. That's something in true comedy, where everybody contributes to society based on their ability to do so, and then they get back from society needs. This isn't literally just life needs, this isn't just uh, food and water and all that. The needs is a more broad sense in Marx's writings. Think of it as a culmination of both needs and wants. In full communism, technology will improve to such a point that most people would be able to have whatever they want. And it's a bit utopian, and I don't think... I don't think that we're ever going to get to a point where everybody can have as much of anything as they want, but we can almost certainly get to a point where everybody has all of their basic needs settled, and then afterward, uh, we can provide for most of their desires. That's a long way of saying, yes, I think we should rebuild the cult of Cybermax. The party remembered Rushkov again, 
information about his wills and dreams became known to the population. Cybernetic clubs began functioning again, which allowed cybernetic geniuses to appear. Gaitov even entered Central Committee and became congressman and Supreme Council. So in this 50-50, that did take a lot of money. Gold reserve is at 410. So we're going to hopefully be able to give military aid. Yes. Get the money back. I do think it's important to, during the decisions, talk a bit about what I know and educate my viewers because, I mean, otherwise, there's really no reason to listen to me because I think I am kind of a boring person. And I know that that's kind of a branding suicide in a sense. Definitely don't want to say I'm boring. It's, it's true. And hopefully other people don't agree. And it's just me being self-deprecating, but... Eh. Let's see. Uh, I think we can go ahead and put more money into automation. As I said, automation extremely important towards communism. So, for the switch on this, the plans are done by 200% you say, let's check it. You can't fool math clock. It's like the most main point in the book. And so, this is the United States Network of ICS centers. What I would assume is that this would be a massive uh, infrastructure, uh, internet infrastructure thing where everything is calculated, so that's continued with OGAS. See, this is what we want. Nice developments in the ECM to allow us to fully analyze the economy of the USSR. Communism draws near. For this, it just means that we should hopefully have corruption go down because if you're saying to the central government, hey, the five-year plan, well, we, we did this, but we did double of what you expected. And there was a fair amount of corruption with the system because, as you can see, very large country. The Soviet Union is enormous. And so there's very little way to actually directly check that. By increasing our technology this way, we'll be able to cut down on that and hopefully make it so that our, our economy does become more efficient just because we don't have people lying about how efficient it is, if that makes sense. Once again, we're going to put stabilization up as well. Ooh, uprising 8888. After unsuccessful economic reforms and suffering from hunger and isolation, Burma, mass protests have begun which ruined uprisings. It continues for a year now and the people's retirements didn't change much. The army is ready to cease power, restore law and order in the country. Negotiate with the army and support them. After meeting with generals, a military coup took place in Burma. A new state council condemned former government and declared building as real socialism. Riders together with financial aid arrived in Burma. They take money, but I believe it doesn't mean we now have them. He is staying with us in thick and thin, which is amazing, but I'm not going to be able to send them any sort of aid. Take the hit. So we are going to have to take money. Ah, uh, let's have to be a bit more even. Memorization and civil technology is the most important for us. So we want that to be as high as it can be. The yeah, the alcohol campaign, that's very good. So we continue the price rising campaign. 
The high price of alcohol are still holding. It is decreasing the alcohol consumption and is increasing the profit of the budget. Very nice. Okay, the military aid. And we're at 15 minutes, so I think we can end the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ah. Hopefully somebody out there found me interesting, or at the very least did find that what I had to say was uh, informative.